everybody, it's Redhead Boo back with a video. So it's Friday, so it's my upload day and today's video is going to be a Marvel tag. So I hope you all enjoy. You might notice that my hair's a bit different. That's because I finally got it done because it just needed it and yeah I decided to go for a bit of a change. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy this video and I'm just going to get started. So the first question is how was I introduced into the Marvel Universe? So I, I've never really been into um, like hero films as much as obviously I am now and one of the very first ones I ever watched was Deadpool and I just found that really funny and then I just thought you know what I'm gonna start watching all the Marvel films and I did and I loved it like I must have started now about two months ago maybe a month ago and I've watched quite a few films. I've watched One Division and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Later on today, I'm watching the last episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier, which I'm so excited for, but I'm also quite nervous because I don't really. I just think something really big is going to happen, and I don't really know what. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, and yeah, so I got introduced into it by watching the films first and then after I watched Endgame, that's when I really started getting into like WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier. So yeah, that's really how I got into it and I can't wait to start watching a lot more films as well and yeah, just see what takes my interest I guess. Okay, so question number two, who is my favourite hero? Oh, that's tough. I think personally for me it's probably Captain America, just because like I watched the first Avengers film was the first one I ever saw and then after that I watched all like the Captain America films and they really, they were the ones out of them all that like caught my attention and yeah so I'm definitely a Captain America fan. Obviously I like all of like the Avengers team but Captain America for me is just the best. Question number three, who is my favourite heroine? So my favourite heroine is Black Widow. I just, I love Scarlett Johansson so much and she's just amazing in the film. Like she's, in all of the films she's in, she's brilliant. So yeah, I love I love Black Widow, but I also love Wanda a lot, especially in like WandaVision as well. So yeah, definitely Wanda and Black Widow. Question number four, who is my favourite villain? <sighs> oh, that's hard. There are so many good villains in the um, Marvel Universe, but for me, I've got like a top three. So I really like Carly from um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I really like Thanos, he's really cool, but he's like super evil and then I think Loki's probably my favourite and 
I'm really, really excited for the Loki um, series that we're getting. I think it's on the 11th of June it starts. So I definitely think I'll give that a watch. So yeah, that'll be very exciting. Um, so question number five. Who is the most overrated character? I don't know whether or not I should say this because I know a lot of people like this character. Like, of course, I love, I like them. I'm not mad about them, but after what happened in Endgame to them and like their relationship with another character. And my overrated character, I'm really sorry, is Iron Man. Just because, I don't know, there's just something about him. And I sort of got put off by him in Civil War and... No, it was Civil War that, yeah, I didn't agree with him. Like, I sort of sided with Captain America. So, yeah. Um, okay. Question number six. Who is the most underrated character? <sighs> the most underrated? I'm gonna say Spider-Man. Just because he's not really part of the Avengers until... Either Infinity War, well, no, he's recruited by Tony Stark in Civil War, so I think he's made into a part of the Avengers then. So, yeah, I definitely think Spider Man, but then again, I also think like Wanda, but I think before she got her series. She was very over, not overrated, sorry, underrated, and she didn't get the recognition that she deserved. So, I definitely think now that, yeah, Spider Man, definitely Spider Man. Okay, question number seven favourite movie? <sighs> okay, that's easy. My favourite Marvel film so far is definitely 100% Captain America Winter Soldier. I just adored that film and spoiler alert, if you've not seen the film, well, if you've not seen Falcon and Winter Soldier, you won't know that Bucky is the Winter Soldier. Yeah, so you won't know that he he got the super serum, the soldier serum, super soldier serum, I, think, I, 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 don't, I don't know. And he was made, he had the metal arm and he was made to be evil, sort of evil. Like he was made to attack and kill, and he killed Tony Stark's parents as well. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, question number eight. Movie I'm most hyped for next. I'm going to say the movie that I'm most hyped for is definitely Black Widow. Because that comes out in July. And I, I definitely think I'll go see it. Um, I just think it'll be amazing for her to have her own film and the trailer looks insane so um, I'm very excited so I might like buy myself a Black Widow t-shirt and wear it and go see the film. It's definitely Black Widow, yeah. But I'm excited for like the Spider-Man films because I've not seen them yet and it has been announced somewhere that they are gonna be 
on Disney Plus soon. So I think I might just wait until they come onto Disney Plus and then watch it rather than renting it on like Amazon Prime. So yeah, I'll definitely give that a go. But yeah. Um, question number nine. Who is my favourite actor? My favourite actor, yeah, it's definitely 100% Sebastian Stan. Like, his acting as the Winter Soldier in either, like, any of the films or when he's Bucky or in, like, Falcon and Winter Soldier, it's just amazing. Especially his acting. Was it episode five? I think it was episode five or four in the series. And yeah, I just, I fell in love with him all over again. Definitely. So if you haven't seen the series, I recommend that you watch it because it's just epic. It's amazing. Definitely recommend. Okay, so question number 10. Favourite actress? I do really like, um, I think her name's Karen Gillan, and she's, I believe she is, um, She's, I think she's Nebula in the Guardians of the Galaxy films and then like Avengers Infinity War or Endgame she's also in. And she's just, she's great. I love Nebula and yeah, I think for me it's a toss up between Karen and Scarlett Johansson, definitely. Without a doubt, without question. So yeah. Um, favourite scene? Mm. Oh god. Okay, so one of my favourite scenes is the scene right at the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 with baby Groot just like they're all I think all the other characters are like fighting or something I'm not quite sure because it were a few weeks ago now that I saw the film and baby Groot's just like in his own little world dancing away and it's just the cutest thing ever but I'm also going to do like my favourite scene from the series it's like the movies and series so my favourite scene from my favourite scene from Falcon and the Winter Soldier is probably the fight scene between John Walker, Falcon and Bucky. At the very beginning of episode five. Like, it was just, as soon as it started, it was just action, 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 and yeah, yeah, I loved it. I really, really, really loved it. So definitely that scene, without a doubt. Okay, so question number 12, what is the first Marvel movie I saw? So the first Marvel movie I saw was the very first Avengers film. Um, I really liked that one. Quite a few people, when I talked to them about Avengers, were like, it's not the best one. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, it's not the best one. Like, loads of people say that Infinity War and Endgame are the best. I mean, I agree with that 100%. But I really like how it sort of introduced all of the characters and yeah it was just really good it was a lot of action compared to like Age of Ultron because 
I wasn't really a big fan of that one. I don't know why, it just didn't really grip my attention at all. Whereas all the other Avengers films did. So, yeah. I, I did really enjoy the first Avengers film, I'm not gonna lie. I just thought it was a nice introduction to like the Marvel Universe and yeah. So it's very good. And Loki's in it as well and we love him. Um okay, so question number thirteen is what is my favourite line from a Marvel movie? And I think this one is from I know it's from Guardians, but I don't know if it's the first or the second one. I believe it's the second film. Like right at the beginning or near the end, I'm not 100% sure. And I had to write the quote down because it's quite a long one. And I didn't really, I didn't want to forget it. Like I wanted to get it right. So... He said, welcome to the frickin' galaxy, only he didn't use frickin'. We're going to have a serious talk about your language. Like, it's just hilarious. I just think the fact that he can only say, I am Groot, but all the other characters know what he means. And it's, it's just brilliant. Like, it's definitely brilliant. I love it. Um, so... Question number 14, which crew would you want to be a part of the most? The Avengers, Guardians or the Revengers? Oh. For me, it's a toss up between Avengers or Guardians. But I think I'm going to say Guardians just because like, I love Groot, I love Rocket, I love all of the characters and... I just think it'd be really fun to like travel through space yeah I definitely think Guardians in that sense then okay question number 15 who is the funniest character without doubt the funniest character in the Marvel Universe is Rocket Raccoon he or also Drax because they have some absolute classic standout funny moments from any of the Guardians films and yeah I just 100% love them like I never will stop loving them so definitely one of them um question number 16 this is referring to Endgame so if you haven't seen Endgame I might be just about to spoil something so I'm sorry <laughs> should it have been Clint or Natasha <sighs> I just knew something like this would come up so if you don't really know Marvel so Natasha is Black Widow and Clint is Hawkeye Um. So this is referring to when they, in Endgame, when they were trying to get the stones back to defeat Thanos, I think it was, and to get the soul stone you had to sacrifice yourself and in the end Natasha was the one who died, which is very sad. Um, Well, I think purely on the basis that Clint had a family and he had young children and a wife and Natasha didn't really have anyone but I think she had a very close relationship with Captain America. So I think on that basis I'm going to have to say Natasha. But I do love Black Widow. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to say Natasha. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so question 17. This is a Civil War reference. 
Team Cap or Team Iron Man. Definitely a rot shadow of a doubt. Team Captain America. I'm sorry, but he's just my favourite. I love I love him. And then last but not least, question number 18. Favourite besties. Um oh, favourite besties. Okay. So yeah, there's a bit of a running theme here. But my favourite besties are Captain America and Bucky or Captain America and Sam, otherwise known as Falcon. So yeah, that was the final question of my Marvel tag. I hope you all enjoyed this video. So next Friday will either be a Disney video or maybe another top 10 or something but I'll only be doing the Disney video if if um, a certain something happens but I'll let you guys know because it'll probably be like an announcement video if it happens so yeah Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all next Friday. This is Redhead Boo signing off. Bye everyone.